This right. conference will now be recorded. All right, put the screens on. So we're working master budget quiz one, which is what we will have on Saturday at one o'clock. So what's your question, Buford? Okay, for, because I think I messed up with the variable cost. Jenkins, did you get 260 for variable cost? As your total? Variable cost, hello. I had got 220. How you get 220? Was your numbers 40, 15, 5, 80, and 120? All right, let's, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Okay. Let's look at our appropriate numbers. So we're okay. going to put over here total column, the numbers that we're going to be using. So for we're going to use the selling price of what? $400. Mm -hmm. Since our collections were 30 and 20, then the bad debt had to be what? I don't know. I think that's where I messed up at. You, uh, Jenkins said 20%, you're but how was 80, it 20? You're collecting 80. 30 80 plus what? 80. Then you're not collecting what? 20%. Oh, let me put that down. So 20% of 400 was gives us a bad debt of what? 80, correct? Of 80. Mm -hmm. I had that. I thought there's something else wrong. Maybe and it's the. How much is that? 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how much is that? 40. You had two reams of paper. It's 750. How much is that? Uh, That's 15. The labor is 10 books per hour. That's five. Okay, then the total overhead was what? That 520? What about your, so we not, book. We're not doing the selling expense. But we're here now. What's the selling expense going to be? Would it be 120? Would it be 30 uh, percent? 400? There's a selling expense rate as what? 20 percent of sales. So what's 20 percent oh. of sales? What did Maybe. I get? Okay, yours, why, why do mine say? Oh, I'm looking at that. <laughs> this is pathetic. The administrative expenses of what? In total. Oh, so that's how I got that mess. I messed it up. Okay, it's supposed to be 80. How much administrative expenses? 80. Oh wait, you said administrative expenses. It's uh two hundred thousand. And how much is our interest expense? A uh, hundred thousand. All right. So now with these numbers, I want everybody now to go and calculate my break-even quantity. So now what you got to do is to get these numbers. Y'all got a screenshot of them? These are the numbers that are go, gonna go. Forty, fifteen, five, eighty, eighty. So these are the numbers that are gonna be you're gonna utilize. So mm -hmm. given that I have calculated the numbers for you. Can you now come down here 
Feel like this. Feel like this. Calculate the contribution margin. Then come with my quantities. Does everybody have the appropriate numbers? Anybody don't have the appropriate numbers? So we're using 520 for our manufacturer overhead, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I don't know why I had put 30% of selling expense. I was looking at the wrong paper. That's why I was off. So team, now that you have the numbers, can you go and make the calculations? Yes. Clifton, Ledette, Dansby, can you put those numbers in the right places? You got a chart telling you where all the numbers go. And you're gonna add your variable cost up and you're gonna calculate your contribution margin. And then we're going to get a new number, and everybody's going to get the same correct number. Right? Mm -hmm. So you want us to get, you want the break even number, or you want the new uh, loss? Well, the target number? loss of 100. So I have given you the numbers. So I broke all of that down and put in bold the numbers that you're going to use here to get total fixed costs, here to get total variable costs, contribution margin the selling price minus variable costs, then utilize your formulas. Everybody's going to get the same number here. Right, Ledette? Right. So what we supposed to be getting 583? I didn't say that. Oh. You, you go back and recalculate and get the right number. I want well, everybody. Well, when I just calculated it, I got 3,000, okay. I mean, 444. It might be an even number. I don't know. The main financing overhead, administrative expense, interest, those are all the fixed costs. Can y'all put those in? Yes, 720000 debt, how much is the manufacturing overhead? Uh, $100,000. How that's much does the same manufacturing overhead is all total? Kidding. What? I was reading the wrong thing. Um, $100,000. Pardon me? How much is the administrative expense? $50,000. Got to get the total. Dance with what's our interest expense? So the manufacturing overhead is five hundred twenty thousand, correct? Mm -hmm. Not, nah, yeah. Admin is two hundred. What's our interest expense? It's a hundred thousand. Thank you. So interest expense is a hundred thousand. And how much was the administrative expense? Two hundred thousand. How much was the manufacturing overhead? Five hundred twenty thousand. So we add these numbers together. How much do we get? Eight hundred twenty. 
thousand. I got uh, four thousand for the quantity. You had to. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Never mind. I'm gonna just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. <laughs> All right. Now you got the variable cost. But then can you calculate your unit variable cost? Mm -hmm. What is the unit material, direct material, labor, bad debt, selling expenses? Going back, Clifton, to the numbers over here, the small numbers. Small numbers. Wait, what are you talking about? These small black numbers. Okay, yeah, what about it? I want you to move these small black numbers and put them in here and get me my total variable cost. Give me the variable cost of materials, labor, bad debt, and selling expense, and your total variable cost. Okay. Dansby, you still there? Can you go back to the to your screen? All right. For raw ink material is forty. And then fifteen for go back to my screen and I want y'all to fill those things in. So the first one is what? What's the first little number you see? 80. That's what? Where? How come I don't have a uh, bad debt? You, you added that in. Okay. 20% would I be. I believe it's. Do we see the bad debt? Yes. Put that in. Then how much is the ink? 40. How much is the paper? 15. How much is the labor? Five. How much are the selling expenses? 80. So put those numbers down. OK, the number is 220. Oh, 220. So give me the composition that number. I'm sorry. So what makes up the 220? Oh, um, oh, the direct material is 55. That's 40 plus 15. The direct labor is five. The bad debt expense is 80. And then the selling expense is 80. And that makes 220. Yep. What you gonna do next? The unit um, contribution margin. Gonna be what? 180. How you get 180? Because the selling price is 400 and we're subtracting the variable cost of 220. Now what we're going to do. How are we going to get a number that goes in here? Okay. What we're going to do to get a number right here. I'm trying to. OK, you but said we're trying to get a number right, 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 right those formulas. That's a target loss formula. What's the formula for the target loss? Oh, the target loss formula is fixed cost minus the target loss divided by the contribution margin. So 
we have 820,000 mm -hmm. minus 100,000 divided by what is the contribution of uh, 180? Oh, it is. 180. I don't know why y'all trying to make this so hard. Okay, so that's um, 700, 720,000 divided by 180. What's that going to equal? 4,000. Yep. So that's the bottom line. We don't get an even number, Buford. Fixed cost. Mm -hmm. I can speak now. Yeah, you can speak now. <laughs> you said, what about an even number? I said, that's the bottom thousand. line. We don't give a nice, even number like this, Jenkins and uh, Buford. You might have done something wrong. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, so you ready for the sales or are we just gonna keep it going with the formulas? No, we'll stop right there. We don't need to go any further. Wait, hold on. What was the formula again? You said fixed cost divided by what? It's fixed cost minus one hundred thousand, which is our uh target loss divided, divided by, by the contribution margin. Wait, what? In oh, okay, okay, like right. things cost my. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Flipped, and in the insert that I gave you all, that I took my time to get for you all, and I told you all to print all three of these formulas in there. And you know, when you sent that, you you just like randomly sent that. Like I could have been anywhere oh, in the flip, world. Like flip. I don't have a laptop or a, a bad, printer in my you home. Bad, you get bad it's beautiful. <laughs> Excuse me, what he saying no, about I'm Buford? Not, no, Miss Buford is not my teacher. She didn't. She didn't get my money. You got my money, so I I'm coming that you. Your excuses are bad, Buford. I didn't yeah. get do it today. <laughs> what, what's wrong with my excuses? <laughs> I for, earlier listen. I got Come like on. two papers looking in okay. front of me. So I had 30% instead just, of 20. On, okay, okay. So an honest just, mistake. We're just trying to relax. That's all. Just trying to relax you all. Clifton, you mm -hmm. okay? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do with the 4,000? What we're going to do with this $4,000? Oh, Make we can time to, to get our sales. So we're going to go to the sales schedule. And what are we going to do? We can times 4000 um, 4, by the selling price. So we're going to put 4000 right here, right? Well, we can't see what you're doing. Um, why didn't you tell me? I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> So when we calculate the 4,000 that we did here, we then move it to sales quantity. Okay, we move it to sales quantity. Does everyone see that? Mm -hmm. So the purpose of calculating it is to get the number that goes here. Now, what about quarter on quarterly sales percentages? Oh, 10, 20, 30, 40. So 10%? Mm-hmm. 20%? Mm-hmm. 30%? Mm-hmm. And where did we get those numbers from? Out of the assumption, right? Correct. We, does everybody see these? We just pull them straight 
from the top. From the top. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I want everybody. those ones at the top was different. Yeah, Where? I was about to say that says 10, 20, 10, 40. The top says 10, 20, 10, 40, not 30%. Oh, actually, it says 10, 20. Mine say 10, 20, 10, 60. Yeah, mine 60. Sorry, I gave you the wrong uh, assumption. So these are the numbers here? But it's still coming. Yes, 10, oh, yeah, 20, yeah. 10, 60. Yeah, 10, 20, 10, 60. I'm going to just put this paper away because this, this packet right here <laughs> just got me off. This is 100. So let's see if we can put those numbers in. Now, I want everybody to go down quarter one. Okay. So. How long will it take you to get through quarter one? You want to know what's ten percent? You want to know what the the numbers are? This conference will now be recorded. Times the four hundred. Yep, and that's how you get your total amount of sales, and that's one point six million. Then do ten percent of that, and then twenty percent of that, and then ten percent of that, sixty oh. percent of that, and then your whole oh, okay. your total should end up one point six million. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So the first number we're going to have is 10% of sales. So sales in the first quarter is how much? 160,000. 160, yeah. Quantity first. What are you doing, Professor? Yeah. 400. Is it 400? It's 400. <laughs> I'm sorry. 400. Oh, yeah. How? No, it's um because it's it's the number the quantity sales quantity is the number that you no, no but our layout See, is different. you 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 really got me confused. That's what I was thinking. Four hundred was the selling price. Yeah, what? but you got to pay ten okay. percent of four thousand. No, uh, it's for oh wait. yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, we right. I'm wrong. It's supposed to be the sales quantity. It is 10% of 4,000. Not the sales. Sorry, oh, right, Corey. I told you wrong. It's 10% of the selling price. 4,000. What's the selling price? 400. So total sales in the first quarter is what? One hundred and sixty thousand. Oh, my bad. Okay. He, I don't know, Jenkins. He got me confused. And our credit sales, they all credit sales. The bad debts, what was that percentage for bad debts? 20%. No, it was 20%, wasn't it? Yes, that's what I said. Okay, twenty percent for, for that credit sales. Did you just bring that down from the total sales? Yep, same. Just brought it down. Okay. So all the sales are credit sales. That just makes it simple. So the twenty percent is thirty-two thousand. Twenty mm percent -hmm. is thirty-two thousand. So that's going to be the bad debt amount. So what about, okay. what about our collection in the month of sale? Professor, I'm confused. 48 days of? What percent? 30. 30. Then our collection of the month after sale, first month after sale? 50. Are, how much? 50. 50. And these should be quarters. Wait, you said 40,000, Jenkins? No, that would be 48,000. 48. Yeah, 48. I'm sorry, I thought you said 40. 
So we're collecting 48,000. Yeah, yeah. Now we don't, this is our first, so this is always zero the first quarter. So the total collection is 48,000. Okay, I just got one question. Okay. Why okay. wouldn't why wouldn't sales quantity be four thousand instead of four hundred? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What we're we gonna do with the forty-eight thousand? Wait, hold on. That thirty percent that's from one sixty is forty-eight thousand. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 30%, so we collected 30% of the 160. And what we're gonna do with the 48,000, we're gonna go down here to the cash budget and put collection for the first quarter is 48,000. Okay. What was the initial uh, beginning? Well, the beginning cash balance from the assumption. Does anyone see that? Uh, a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Okay. Mm. So in this first quarter, we got one forty-eight available. Now, your job now is to do quarter two. So we done quarter one, can you do quarter two? I mean, we can always try. So, um, I, I, do you want us to like talk through it right now? However you want to do it, but I'd rather you all take about three or four minutes and see if you can do it by yourself. Then we're going to talk through it.
going around telling the collections. Yeah. Okay, so I'm stuck. Seventy six thousand is what I got. That's what I got to here. How much? One seventy six. One seventy six. Okay, so let's see how people got the one seventy six. The first thing we come up here and put in the quantity is twenty percent. So how many sales in the second quarter? Eight hundred. So okay. price 400 Correct. for what were the total sales? 320,000. Does everyone see that? The 320? Yes. Yes, sir. Hopefully. And of course, these sales are all credit sales. Now, what are our bad debts? Bring that down. Sixty-four thousand. <laughs> our bad debts are what? Sixty-four thousand dollars. How do we get that? That's twenty percent of three hundred twenty thousand. Okay. What are our collections of these of the 320? How much of the 320 do we collect? $96,000. I get mm -hmm. 96000 That's 30% of 320000 And what's going to go in this box? 80000 I mm -hmm. get 80000 Of half of the first quarter collections. All we're going to do is go over here. So we we collect the 80% of last quarter. We add these two numbers together, we get how much? 176. And what do we do with the 176? Bring it down to it the down. cash budget and put it in there. Put it right here on the collection. Mm -hmm. Everybody think they can do that now. They'll be able to do it on Wednesday. Can everybody get this far on Wednesday by themselves? I think so. Let's do on um, quarter three just to make sure. No. <laughs> yeah. You all gonna do quarter three and four tonight and send it in. Oh, okay. All right. But we've got to get to it down here. So you got the guide for that, but we got to so we only got 45 more minutes so we got to finish the bottom part okay 45 more minutes of what class <laughs> yes yes okay production budget what's going to be on what's the first numbers on the production budget The sales? Yeah, it says sales. Uh, Where are we going to get them from? The right there, right there, right there. You're going to come right here. Just bring it down. Bring it down. So let's go down to on the first quarter, how design inventory is still 50%, right? Right. So we've got to produce the 400 we selling plus half of these that we go half for the second quarter. That is, we want to produce the 400 we selling and half of the 800 uh, that we're going to sell second quarter. So this becomes 400. We just took 50% of this number. So we need to produce how many? 800. Okay. Our beginning inventory is zero. And so we're producing 800 the first quarter. 
Now your job is to go Wait. to the second floor. Tell me how many Ooh. we produce. How many are we producing the second quarter? You want us to tell it to you? Say what? You want us to tell it to you or go do it? Well, go do it. I guess we need a third quarter sale. The desired ending That's inventory 400. is 400 because it's half of the second quarter. No, I need a number up here first. I can't hear anything. That's 402. This number's 400. So all we're doing is putting in the sales for the third quarter based on just going up here and saying this number would have been 10% of 4,000 or 400. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we know that that's the number that would be here on the production budget. Yes. I'm saying for the desired ending inventory. It's going to be what? For the desired. It's going to be 50% of this number. 200. Yes. Okay. Number 200. So that's what I was saying was correct. We're getting it from the, from the following mm -hmm. quarter. Correct. Yes. Okay. So we totally need a thousand. But guess what? We already have produced 400. So the 400 that we that desired in the inventory. So therefore, we only need 600 to be produced mm -hmm. in the second quarter. Okay. So I'll expect you to be able to go through the rest of this and finish that production budget. But the key thing to get your C on the final, you just gotta be able to do the first two quarters. Okay, wait, hold on. Where did you get that other 400 from? We brought it from over here. That's a good question. We had a desired ending inventory of 400 from the first okay. quarter. That becomes the beginning inventory the next quarter. And that's oh, going okay. to be happening. So this will be 200 when we get to the third quarter. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Thank you. Then we're going to take these numbers and copy them and what we're going to do with them. You just speak for two. We're going to yeah. put them on the raw materials ink budget. We're going to put them on the raw materials paper budget. And we're going to put them on the labor budget. So in other words, we're going to always just bring everything down. That's basically what we're doing. All right, gotcha. So let's go back to ink. What is the per unit ink requirement? Uh, we need four ink cartridges per book. How many ink cartridges we're going to need all total? 40. Oh, just one. <laughs> um, if you're making 800 books, so you need 400 ink cartridges per book. How many are you going to need? 3,200. That's correct. Now, what's the unit cost of the ink cartridges from our assumptions? $10. How much? $10. 10, thank you. So our total cost is gonna be what? Um, 32,000. 32,000. Oh, shoot, oh, wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> How much we paying in the month of purchase? Go up here to these assumptions. It says what? Month of purchase. It doesn't say the month. It says seventy-five 
uh, percent the month of sale. Seventy-five percent. So when we when we buy it, we pay seventy-five percent, and then mm -hmm. what? Twenty-five percent the next quarter. Mm -hmm. So. So we're paying seventy-five percent. Twenty-four thousand. <laughs> Oh, my apologies. Where did you get that 75% again from? From the assumptions. If you go up to the assumptions, the first you always, you pay 75% in the month of, this should be month of purchase, 25% the month after. Okay. Okay, and so, but before, where did we get the, the 20 and 30. Okay, hold on. Let me. Oh, okay. 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 We clear. I'm up. We good. Okay. So we're paying 24,000. This number is always zero in that first quarter. So the total payment is 24,000. And so now we have our first payment that goes on the cash budget. So we got 148,000 to pay. Now we bring in these payments. Your job now is to calculate the payments on ink for the second quarter. And we did the payment in the month to follow purchase zero dollars, right? For quarter one, yes. Yeah, zero, because we didn't have a prior month. Correct. Now tell me how much is going to be paid in quarter two. I got um, 18,000 for the for the initial payment. Okay, so, so let's see how she got 18,000. The per unit requirement was four. So she would need how many? Just 2,400, correct? Yes. Yes. Cost is 10. And so the total cost will be what? 24000 And you got to pay 75%. Yes, which is 18000 And then. But you got to pay how much of this? 25%, correct? For yeah. The preceding quarter. So it's going to be $8,000. So 25% of 32 is 8. Which will have our total payments at 26 what we're going to do with the 26,000? Take it down to the cash budget, raw materials, and put All it right. in. So now we're working to see how much we got to pay. I'm going to let you all do paper because it works the same way. Hmm. Okay. Can I get those last um, few boxes on the raw ink, the ink part real quick, please? Say that again. The back to what we was doing, the ink. Can you, can I get the last on the second column? Okay, yeah, right here. <clears throat> and then, that's 75, 32. Okay. Okay, thank you. You 
still here? Oh, no, I'm good. Buford, go ahead and do raw materials paper for me. You said do raw materials. And have oh. the number last year for the first quarter. Well, I'll, I'm almost done. I'm doing it okay, now. Just, I'll, I'll get it later. Let's go to direct labor. Notice that 800 and 600 is still here. What is the per unit requirement for labor? Um, it, it's five. No, just kidding. Five, yeah. Just, just kidding. <laughs> ten, 10 books per hour, $50 an hour. Okay, so right now we're concerned with the 10 books. So, so we can make 10 books in an hour. Mm -hmm. So it's 10, so it's 10 per hour. So we're going to divide by 10. So the total hours required is going to be what? I'm typing in the wrong thing. You said divided by 10, so it's going to be 80. 80. And our labor rate is what? Five. $50? Fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. The total is 50. If the workers work 80 hours, they want $50 an hour. Not five. So what's 80 times 50? 35,000. Wait a minute. 80 hours times $50 an hour. 4,000. Thank you. Whenever we have some on the line, last, last line, I'm going to do with it. So the, the total direct labor, bring it down to the, the cash budget? Yeah, was there a question? Yes, uh, I was saying the labor rate is 50, 50 but not five. The unit cost is five. Yeah, but that's workers work eighty. If you were working eighty hours, would you want five dollars or fifty dollars an hour? Fifty. Okay. So the four thousand comes down here. Buford, did you get a, a number for paper for us? Um, yeah, for one and two, I I got nine thousand for both. Let's just put the man down. I don't know if it's supposed to be the same for both, but could be. That's what I got. Okay. Could be. Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. different. They're running differently. Okay, so let's look at this manufacturing overhead now. And all you got to do is go to the table for manufacturing overhead go up to the assumptions and it tells us the manufacturing overhead is how much per quarter 130,000 and the depreciation is what 25,000 all you have to do Bring those numbers down, I guess it's, I don't know why I did that. Undo. You could just put your total, which is 110, down at the bottom. Then this is what, the depreciation was how much? 25,000. So how much we got to pay? Oh, 110,000. 100 and what? 10. That's not oh no, I put wait, is it 130 or 135? It's 130. 105? It's 105. It's 105. It's 105. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. 130 less 25 is 105. It's 105. I right, fell so off today. You good, you keep your head up. <laughs> 
So even though our total overhead is 130, we don't have to pay on the depreciation. So we don't have to worry about borrowing for that. So we're gonna put the 105 right here. It's gonna be 105 across all four quarters. Yeah, but we're we're just doing the first quarter. But it would be 105 all the way across. So if I go up here, I'll skip sales. Let's just go to administrative expense right quick. Right. If you see administrative expense, what you gonna tell me? Fifty thousand. Yeah, fifty. Fix right. It's gonna be fifty thousand and ten thousand, right? So gonna operate the same way as the overhead. Fifty thousand. The depreciation is ten thousand. So we only have to pay forty thousand. Forty and one on five. So we can bring those down. This is a lot of going up and down. I cannot keep it. Thanks. Well, we're not in Excel, but it's kind of easy to work with. Let's do the selling expenses. Insert. And how much did you say, um, Tom, we have Wednesday on this? Uh, six o'clock or whatever, six, seven o'clock. Okay. Okay, so we're going to bring those sales down again. So we'll go back up to the sales. So we get our total sales here and we'll just bring them on down. Wait, so Saturday, the test is from one to what? Whenever y'all finish. But we're talking about Wednesday right now. Oh, okay. So what are we doing Wednesday? We practice it again. Practice oh, okay. makes perfect. Okay, cool. I'm with it. So our, our selling expense rate was what? Wait, you don't want to add it in two extra. Make it easier to show you what we're doing. So we put sales in, then we put that rate. So you know, a lot of time, you know, we're adjusting to make it easier understanding and it says that in the assumptions that our excelling expense rate is what 20% 20% yeah so you just do 20% of 160 so I'm just trying to do it I put these in because as you go back and work on this you'll be able to see where these numbers came from. 3,200. We'll just put I mean, 32,000. How much is it? 32,000. We're gonna put 32 right here. And we're gonna take that 32 and put it right here. Now I just got to get long-term note of interest in. So how fast we move it now. So as we get to the bottom, it's very easy, okay? All right, so long-term interest. Look here. Note. It's got interest in principal already here for us. Correct. All we got to do is copy them. Wait, but where are you taking this to? Capital expenditure budget. Okay. 
Oh, I see the area. So I got I got to reverse these. So this is interest. And this is principal. And guess what? All I gotta do is copy the 125 and bring it in here. So here's the long-term note 100. Here's the interest 25. So guess what? We finished with the first year. Because they're all the same. Yep. So when you get down here from manufacturing overhead on down, you're talking about a minimum amount of time, about 500 per, schedule, per schedule. So we add up all of our payments. How much do we have? How much do we have? I was supposed to have this in Excel. You got this in Excel, Buford? I'm writing it down. I got to print it out. I'm in the in the paper that you gave, I mean, the file that you gave us. I'll put it in Excel tonight though, whenever you want us to turn it in, but um, I'm calculating right now. Okay, what you're doing is, okay, we just uh, illustrate it now, but you're always working putting in, in Excel, Excel so that you'll be ready easier. to easily knock this out. So when I just put these numbers up in Excel, it says it's 339,000. 39,000, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, still calculating over here. It's 339,000. So that's why on Tuesday, I mean on Wednesday, I want everybody in Excel. So I want you to mm -hmm. have the spread. We, we sent the spreadsheet to you, haven't we? Are you supposed to have it? No, I think you were telling us to make our own. Wait, we'll make so y'all got disbursement stamp, only added the disbursement part of it? Pardon? You only added yeah, the disbursement. Okay, that's, I was like, what are y'all talking about? But, okay. So we have 148,000 mm -hmm. available, but we so owe 391,000. So how much are we short? One hundred and ninety-one thousand. So we needed three thirty-nine. We only had one forty-eight. So that makes us one ninety-one short. And if we gotta have a minimum of a hundred thousand in the bank, how much we gotta borrow? Uh, How much we got to borrow? 148. Are we subtracting the 191 from the total payment or the 100 from the 191? Do you understand what the 191 represents? Yes. It represents what? The short 191,000. So we. And if I'm supposed to have a hundred thousand, how much I got to borrow? Oh, then ninety-one thousand. What? I said that would be ninety-one thousand. Then, right? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. If I'm down one ninety-one, <laughs> two hundred ninety-one thousand. If I was down one ninety-one, Dansby. Okay. And I, and I had a, I have uh, paid. Bought chips worth a hundred thousand in Vegas, and I'm down one ninety one. How much I got to win to get back to my hundred thousand? It'll be ninety one thousand, right? I, I paid. So that's what I said, but he said. He, Let's look again. I'm at Vegas at the tables. Okay. I give a hundred thousand. I paid a hundred thousand. Okay. That's what I had. I went there with a hundred thousand. I'm down 191. 
Oh, you okay. Let that roulette table. How much I got to now win to get back to my hundred? Two hundred ninety-one thousand. To get I, back I, to I see y'all don't go to Vegas, but I mean. <laughs> Am I not? I mean, am I not, if we're trying to, if we're, not, not, I mean, she she's correct to get back to a hundred thousand. One hundred ninety-one thousand plus a hundred thousand to. On if, top I, of if I if I borrow just one ninety-one, I'm I even. I said two ninety-one. Say what? I said two ninety-one. Right. That's, That's why I said she's correct. Now what was throwing me off was SS SS cash. So I'm up here thinking that you have like. Over one hundred ninety-one thousand dollars, but at the ending balance, you have one hundred thousand. So I'm like, all right, so you have ninety-one thousand in the short-term loan, or something. I mean, that that's what's throwing me off, personally. Okay, that's fine. So now, when we go back up here, we got one hundred thousand to start the next quarter. Okay. So, so what's you all job? So what's y'all job now for the rest of the day? You said do three and four. Two, three, and four. We started on it. But you can see now that this is not as bad as what y'all thought. And y'all can do this. The first thing you do is you go with your assumptions and you put over here in bold your key numbers. How do we? Figure out that we were 191,000. How was that calculated? Okay, that's good. That's no calculate that. Just to be clear. You had 148,000 available. Mm -hmm. But your expenses came to 339. Okay, so we subtracted that. That's correct. So short term two ninety one and ending eight hundred thousand. Cool. So, so what we're gonna do is this: you all gonna work on this. Then for the first fifteen minutes or so of class on Monday. Wednesday. We'll go over the rest of this, but you know, you all should have it down pat. What I'm saying is that you should now have this down in terms of what I do. The first thing I do, I get through these assumptions and I put down selling price, bad debts, raw materials, ink, unit cost, raw materials, paper, unit cost. Labor unit costs, I'm paying them $50 an hour. They can just make 10 books an hour, but they won't $50 an hour. But my unit cost is five. Manufacturing overhead. Oh, so, okay. I see that. I didn't see that $50 an hour. Okay. Administrative expense, 200. So we put down our key numbers, and I think we left our interest in the bowl left. Then we bring those numbers and put them where they're supposed to be. Okay, we put them where they're supposed to be and calculate our contribution margin, our quantity to be produced, and then we come in this formula to make sure our number is correct, especially when we don't have an even number. So the number not even, maybe, I could have. I could have written a problem where it didn't come out that way. I might have something wrong. So I put it in here to see if it works. Assuming it works, I get the 4,000. What I do with the 4,000? I put that right here. And that starts everything going the 4,000 sales and the quarterly sales percent. On so that now, list? I'm sorry, I have a question. Yes, correct. On the debt, the bad debt, how did you get that percentage again? We were told the collections were 30 and 50. So if I'm only collecting 80% and 20% is bad. Uh, 
Okay. So you have to make that calculation each time. Okay. And then those numbers are going to be different each time. Right. They can change. Okay. Thank you. So I want everybody to be able to go through the sales budget next time. I mean, when I put that problem up, the quiz up, and we'll stop it briefly to see where we are as you take the quiz. But I want everybody to be able to go from these assumptions, get your quantity, and then do the sales budget. Just with a snap, 15 minutes or 30 minutes out. Then it should not take you more than 30 minutes to do the remainder of it. And just remember for your final, well, it's, you know, next week, on, excuse me, on Wednesday, you only got to get two quarters done two quarters. That's really about an hour's worth of work. 